final frame before the mid-session interval. Better break up. Well, what an important frame for John Higgins. He has Again, come good stayed with in his chair, Steve Dave Moore. Gilbert, out of the arena. Under power at snooker. Very surprised he's not he hasn't good. been out the clear as he right golf. <laughs> Many times for John Higgins. He's got to draw, John, on all of his experience, on all his match play instincts. Surprised John Higgins didn't leave the arena. Nice escape from Dave. Yeah, he would say that, but he's the same in the last frame. At the moment. Steve said in the studio. He should have been straighter on that red long leaf cushion, rolling the pink in. Morning session. And drawing on his match play experience, he decided to play the safety. Have some help. But there was a frame in this match where you know, Dave Gilbert needed two snookers. That was in the first session. I just thought it was one match against Joe And Dave Gilbert should have won that frame. How many times you could say that, John Higgins? Yeah, but his opponent needing two snookers. Should have lost the frame. He hadn't done it before. And when he was 7-5 down against Neil Robertson, he pro produced you know he's going to find a way vintage to compete. I think this session I think now the thing is, is can he about damage limitation that consistency time after time? And so <laughs> what we've seen in the first two frames this morning, wow. the answer is maybe just not anywhere on the blue will do. Spurts. As well as errors, a lot of bad decisions. I mean, you wouldn't no. call that a bad decision. Obviously, you could get through to play it, but... I'm pleased to see final... He's exactly not got early stages he's of this match, but... Yet this morning, he's, and he's just uh, gift wrapping. Oregon times Tuesday's already for John Higgins. Big frame for Dave Gilbert. Gilbert. Dave Gilbert's, Gilbert's to take thing. thing. We know, but, uh, yeah, don't we? Needs to John Higgins. 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 We'll find John a way. Higgins. Try and Pink as a certainty. Dave Gilbert wins the second. And what a frame it was. Gilbert at the moment certainly won't believe his luck. He wouldn't have seen John Higgins Eight. making these straightforward. He's got a shot. Find a bit of riddle. There's a better man. And now he's got to really step up here and press the advantage home because he has his opponent reeling. No reason to hear, just a little cannon on the bottom of the cross. I well, wouldn't have that. played it with that much pace. I've got to be honest with you. He could have just nudged into him, released a couple of reds. If he hits the right hand red, that little cluster, which he didn't, he'd have been nicely on the red to the opposite corner. Decided to play it with a bit of pace. That's why he's not on, on a red nicely. Desperately looking, he's got a couple of alternatives where he maybe need the spider. He's got one to the right corner, which may tempt him. One to the far right corner, which certainly wouldn't tempt me. I think the one to the right corner he's looking at now, in potting it, he would cannon into the black. He may develop the black. Yeah, he's going to try and knock the black towards this left corner pocket. So he's got to get a right cannon. Hit the right hand side of the black as we look. Knock it towards the left corner pocket. He's got to judge it nicely. Good part, but didn't get a, the cannon he would have liked. Yeah, the problem is when you're using that implement, you have to give due care and attention. He couldn't do much with a cue ball. And the natural potting angle on the red was hitting the black too thick. The black is potable, but the cue ball is going up into the bulk area. He's looking to see if he does pot the black. Can he make a cannon on that red just above the black? No. 
David Gilbert, 17. Well, I'm looking at that and I'm not seeing he played the pot. But he didn't play the best of safety. Didn't find the pot cushion. So John Higgins will be taking this on. And everything now for John is a big shot. He needs a bit of inspiration from somewhere. One. That was nicely struck. Mid session interval after this. So John would want to have something to show for his efforts. He's none so far. That's okay. Got the red to the right Six. corner. It's going to be slightly awkward queuing, but if the pink is available to the left middle, he's got not much to do with the cue ball. A delicate little operation having to put that rest in between the reds. Well, the pink was available, we could clearly see that, but we thought, well, better to push the cue through. Looks like yellow now will be the choice of colour. He's got this red to the left corner pocket. He's going to come down and have a look at the black with them. It's not straightforward off the black. I'm potting this red, but maybe forced into playing that shot. And if there's a red in that bunch that pots into the right centre pocket, you won't have much work to do on the cue ball and potting the black because when the black is so to so close to this top cushion just makes it a little bit awkward. Now pot the black and try and maybe get on a red if possible. There is one red Ten. that is potable into the right centre. Coming around to have a look. There you see. So don't do too much with this cue ball, just screw it back off the cushion, leave the red into the right centre. We've got to give every due care and attention to this. Oh, he said it too hard. His touch is gone. It's deserted him at the moment. 17. Yeah, you've hit the nail on the head there, Ken. He just got no control of the cue ball at the minute. And then when he plays safety, look at that, he's looking for John the bolt line, he's, the bolt cushion, he's found the bolt line. It's amazing. This is probably one of the worst sessions he's ever had so far at the Crucible Theatre in all his years of coming here. Can he turn it round? It'd be an unbelievable performance if he can in this session.
and One. floated in beautifully. When Ben Gilbert came to the table, the points were level. All the reds he needs are in the middle of the table. Black available to both corners. You couldn't hope for a better chance than this. And the one subtle difference, Ken, he has got the cue ball under control. Steve Moore. Yeah, he certainly has. Got to make these. Red. He's just got to hold himself together here. And I suppose the way Dave Gilbert has been playing, it's putting that extra pressure on John Higgins. 16. He's watching them floating in. Nice long pots. He's watching his cue ball control. He's watching his body language, he knows. He's not that nervous. He's enjoying it out there. Twenty-four. Just another twenty-five points required. So that's well, 25. that's one after this blue. Another three of the remaining reds to get to snookers required. Those two reds are very close That's together. I don't think they're potable. So he's going to have to play one last can of there. You see them. They're not potable into the right centre. 31. Certainly not potable into the left centre. So he's going to have to bring those two into play. That's probably John Higgins' only chance for it to break down here. So pot the black, pot the loose red. John Higgins frame. I think the thing is, can he produce that consistency time after time? And so what we've seen in the first two frames this morning, the answer is maybe not. It just comes in spurts. Able to knock it in the right middle and brush those two reds into a possible position. Come play 60 final. Do exactly the angle. And if this works out, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. But session. this one thing we know, Ken, don't we? John Higgins will find a way to try and stay in this match. Oh, well, it just shows you. David you never I think that'll be his plan now He's in this session. Concentrating on the cannon, took his eye off the pot. What a let off for John Higgins now, John. Can you take advantage? You've been given a lifeline. on the black now how's the pace of the cue ball striking it for the left center it's gone awkward. Eight. Betwixt and between here. Playing it for the left centre, and if he overran it, he was on it into the right corner, but probably finished in possibly the worst position. Can still pot this into the corner, but a lot more difficult. Oh, that's a good shot. Great recovery. That's the cue ball. Needs to miss the green. Oh. Nine. Just can't get a grip of that cue ball at the moment. Everything is happening. Thirty-four. 
30 points behind so deciding to nestle up to the, the green John Higgins he had a thin pot on the brown but he couldn't be too sure of position and the pot was tricky so a similar situation to the last frame the subtle difference this time is Dave Gilbert has the 30 point lead but if he leaves this red on John Higgins would become favourite to win it he's hit it it's run to the top cushion but it is cuttable but off this red John Higgins will need green or above to be able to win at this visit it struggles in and I think he's going to land on the brown